in the life at Camp Green Top. Today is a Sunday the 7th of August, I had to think then. I'm sorry I haven't been on the camera much. If you can see Wayne flapping about in the background, he's got flies in his face. We're just about to walk to Wayne's cabin so he can change his clothes. It's about 25 past eight. And once we've done that, we're gonna head to the dining hall for breakfast. I think it's gonna be a pretty relaxed one today because we've done most of everything yesterday. Woo! Sorry. That was me, and I just wanted to say hi. Do you want to say anything? Yeah, um, yeah we're a bit confused about breakfast, aren't we? Yeah, a little so, bit. As you know, we sleep in the rec hall on the beanbags because it's a way that we can be a bit closer together. It's bug free, or less bugs. Yeah, okay. Less bugs, it's cooler. Just stop a sec. It's cooler, and we can walk. Okay. It's cooler, and obviously, it's more comfier. Mm -hmm. But we wake up at quarter to eight every morning, don't we, to come down here well, to get ready? Today we wake up at five past eight. And every time <laughs> at quarter to eight, you can see all the kitchen staff in the kitchen cooking away and you can smell the breakfast. It smells so good. But today we woke up about five past eight and all the dining hall lights are off. All, yep. the, all the kitchen lights it's are still off. off now. Yeah. All the kitchen lights are off. There's no one in the kitchen. You can't smell people. I've got something on oh. my shoe. <laughs> Ow. Yeah. Um, there's no one in the kitchen. You can't smell nothing. So we're like, what's happening for breakfast? Now, yesterday, before we left to go off the mountain to go to Duncan, we saw the, sh uh, the cook, Ricardo, drive off the mountain so we're not sure now if he's got covid and had to stay off the mountain or something or the league my arm i want yeah. to stop it at. or the league are paying for us to go off the mountain for breakfast it's something they've done before maybe not this session or this summer but in the previous summers i've been here now and again they do um take us off the mountain to surprise us my arm so, so we're either gonna be having breakfast you're gonna have to take it at my arm sorry so we're either gonna be having breakfast off the mountain, they're all going to surprise us and take us off the mountain. Can you whap, whap the flies off me? <laughs> or someone's been sent down the mountain and brought, I'm going to bring us breakfast back. But it's very strange why no one's in the kitchen and it's like 8.25 now. So anyway, we're, than that. Yeah, we're we reached my cabin, which is just there. So I'm just going to quick get a quick change of clothes. And then once we go up to the record, I'm going to watch the main night again. And we'll let you know what's happening about breakfast. Yeah, because, um, we'll, main night are playing Brighton today in about half hour. So I'm going to be watching that anyway, so. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, it's a rattle, but it's not using it, is it? It looks like a rattle thing. It doesn't seem to be rattling. Afternoon, everyone. We're not going on our jollies. We're leaving the mountain to go and clean vans because that's pretty much there's the last thing convoy, isn't it? yeah little bags. convoy there's one in front one behind but we've just seen a very large rattlesnake and you've probably just seen it in the last clip and currently the park rangers are there going to remove the big snake and take it to somewhere else on the mountain because we can't really have it where we are because if that thing bites or like um what's the word Stings, stings someone yeah. will be a little bit screwed they, they don't really bother you unless you bother them or you pick them up but that thing was massive wasn't it yeah so we're currently going down the mountain now we're probably going to get something from the shop and then I'm we're getting a big slurpee yeah, whatever. getting a big slurpee we did have a full clean up today like removed a lot of stuff cleaned everything deep cleaned and then um 
they removed all the bean bags so there was a big uproar so we like went to our camp director i'm like can we please have them because you love us so we've got two more nights in our bedroom so we're very pleased so we'll see you next when we're down the mountain <laughs> Quicker than that! Evening everyone, so Wayne and I are just off the mountain again for the evening. We've just borrowed Tina the van. Um, we've had a lovely evening. We had tacos, was it? Taco yes. shells? Yeah. But yeah. we all kind of made like burrito bowls and it was so lovely. Um, we had that and then I left because I was feeling quite tired. They all had churros for dessert. But we've just left the mountain um, to spend our like last bit of money for our break because everything we've got now is for our trip to Baltimore, which we're really excited about. But we're just going to go and get some more cans of drink just for the next few days because it's going to be really hot, isn't it's it? It's 36 tomorrow. 36 degrees. And I'm so glad we've done all the hard work. But we've got a few good days ahead of us. We're going to a baseball game on the 9th which is going to be really nice and then we've got our banquet which i've heard a few things but i'm not going to pry too much just in case we don't do it but it's meant to be a really nice evening for everyone i think mel and the staff the leadership team are going to spoil us rotten by the sounds of it and then we leave on the 11th and yeah we've got a really good couple of days i think when wayne and i get back to the uk we're going to be physically exhausted but we've got nothing to do halfway we can sleep and just catch up yeah. on things i've still got another two months before i start university so i think we're just going to get home and just chill but yeah as i said we've just arrived at the food lion which is just there a really really good supermarket i don't know whether this is just singular to maryland or this area but it's a really good well-priced i've not seen supermarket. any other food lines in america all the time we've yeah. been to the states i've never seen another food line so yeah but if you're passing through maryland and you really need a cheap place to stay overnight fairmont is a really good place and so is frederick maybe fairmont for the night to stay and then frederick for the evening but yeah this is another pretty boring evening we're literally just buying some like we're, sprite we're, aren't we, we? Long, so <laughs> i'm so tired i'm like so, so exhausted we do apologize this obviously we didn't plan for this we expected <laughs> to have the campers with us and then we're obviously we i were, wish they were with us it's so boring then we go and get covid so obviously it was cancelled so we didn't really plan for this we understand that this is not the most exciting vlog but then again we're not, real life. we're not doing anything. There's no point keep vlogging us cleaning and tidying up because it's just pointless. It's so dirty so as well, we only, it? We're, we're only picking the camera up when we're doing something <laughs> a little bit exciting. It's not so exciting. Going to the local supermarket to get some soda is not the most exciting thing. <laughs> but if you've been stuck on a mountain for two days and very rarely get off, it's something to look forward to, isn't it? We were so, so excited today, as you've probably seen in the clip before this. We went to Hoover out the vans. And give it a good wash. And give it a good wash. It was so exciting <laughs> just to get out yeah. and get like a big gulp slurpy. So that's how sad we are at the moment, aren't we, Wayne? <laughs> oh no, I'm looking forward to getting a slurp because I'm going to go and get a slurp in a minute. I don't know whether I've got enough for that. Hmm. We'll have a look in a minute. Yeah. We'll discuss that off camera. You don't need to know about our financial woes. Yeah. But we'll um, see you when we're in the food line. <laughs> So 
so we've just arrived back at camp. We're gonna take our shopping into the dining hall and the kitchen and we're gonna chill for the evening. So we will see you all tomorrow. Yeah, hopefully we'll do something constructive and we hopefully. can show you. <laughs> Good night, everyone. Night. Bye. Morning, everyone. Today is Monday the 8th of August here at Camp Greentop. Today is our last full day for tidying and making sure the camp is all stowed away and ready for Camp Green Top 2023 next year. And we've got a couple of days of exciting events. Tomorrow we are at a baseball game and the next day we have got our banquet and then we go to Baltimore. So today will probably be the last day of tidying. We might do a few little odds and ends over the next couple of days also. But I did want to mention the time is currently 9.30. We're about to go up for breakfast. And that is why no one was at breakfast at half eight yesterday. And it's because the leadership were told that we could have an extra hour in bed because there's no point us getting up at half seven to be down for breakfast for half eight. So breakfast has moved to 9.30 and lunch is also at one o'clock. I think dinner's still the same time of six o'clock, but it's just so we can all have a little bit more of an extra rest because a lot of us are still poorly with COVID. I'm not doing too bad today. Wayne's still feeling a little bit rough. But on that note, we will see you in whatever activity we are doing today. Yeah. <laughs> so guys, <clears throat> there's nothing to do at the moment. We've got about an hour and a half until dinner. So we have asked if we can take this little beast for a spin off the mountain. No, I asked. Just so I can get an icy drink and just an icy drink. So let's unlock it. Now, one day, the plan is to own one of these. It doesn't have to be a Ram, but anything will do. As long as it's a pickup truck, that's the idea. But let's go off the mountain to get a nice slurpy drink. Oh, <laughs> leather seats. Ooh, very fancy. I'm kidnapping her and we're not coming back. Yeah. <laughs> right, ready for me to get into this beast? Yeah, what you say? Thank you. He hasn't shut up about it all week. Another couple have been driving it, haven't they? But he's indisposed with COVID. Well, we don't know yet. It's got to be. But we're going to take this down, go and get a drink. I think one of our staff members wants another big drink. Yeah. So I said I'd get him one too. I'm not going to get a slurpy thing. Right, let's go. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. This is nice. Happy? Oh yeah. Aren't I a good wife? Yep. It was fine, we could have had this truck days ago. Oh well. We've got it now, haven't we, for our, yeah, about like, 45 minutes, so yeah. let's just make use of it. Woo! So, uh, it's nice to drive. Is it? Yeah. I'm quite jealous, actually. <laughs> I'm not allowed to drive, because no. I can't drive, so. No. Oh, that aircon's quite nice as well. got the goods. Wayne's driving in his favourite truck. Yeah. Is it like 2012 all over again? Yeah. Well, no, because 2012, I only passed my test a week before flying over it, didn't I? So, although I felt cold and good, I was quite wet beyond years coming to drive in, wasn't I? Yeah. So, I was a little bit nervous and scared because I didn't know the rules. I barely knew the rules back home. They don't know the rules over here. Well, you but you did want to test drive one of these again, didn't yes, you? Yeah, and it's nice. And it's the love for them still is still going yeah and it still wants me to get one when i eventually get a job back home but hopefully if so what well, we better say so we've spoken to mel and we're allowed to come to winter camp aren't we yeah winter Woo! Camp is a definite we just need to wait for our email around september october time mm -hmm. if it gets to say middle of september beginning of october and she hasn't reached out we have to reach out to her yeah um summer camp is a little bit if it touch and go there's a few changes happening next year. We're not going to say too much because we don't know too much. But there's a few changes happening next year. And the plan is we might be maybe keeping it as the session by session rather than the whole, you know. It depends who's in yeah. charge and what. But um, if it is run by session by session, yeah. then hopefully we might be able to come back for another two weeks again for session five and session six. And we've also been told that if we are visiting in the area, yeah we can come and just volunteer. At a respite, or at respite, yeah. Respite, or even just turn up, they said, yeah. if they've got the extra space. But they're hoping to be back at full capacity, aren't they? Yeah, I think so. But yeah. they're hoping to possibly do it 
in a way where not putting pressure on people to commit to the whole mm. summer because people are obviously got jobs and other commitments but yeah so we're going to drive back up the mountain and um, Wayne can say goodbye to this truck yep, for another year, yeah. <laughs> for another year. <laughs> so let's I'm go I'm to drive it home. yeah right let's go <laughs> yeah you could go back a bit more yeah do you think i will go back a bit more yeah i'll tell you when let's say that's perfect yeah. say bye bye i don't want to give it back you've got no choice <laughs> Lock it. Keys. I don't want to give them in. Give me the keys. Now. Okay. Good evening, everybody. Um, it's quite late at night. It's about 10 to 12. I think I'm the only one awake. Everyone has gone. Uh, Jess is in the um, rec hall asleep or nearly asleep. As you can see, there is no one in here with me. So I thought I'd just come on and just end the vlog. Um, I think the last clip you would have seen was me reversing that truck back into a parking space. So uh, when we got here, we had about half hour, 40 minutes wait till dinner. Uh, for dinner, we had burger and chips. That was really nice, actually, really nice. We've not had chips here or fries. We've not had fries here since I've been here anyway, so it was a nice change. Then about half six, I went into the rec hall and sat on the beanbag and I was on my phone. And before I knew it, it was like quarter to 12. No, quarter to 11, sorry, quarter to 11. And I thought, I need to get out. I can't sit on this beanbag any longer, scrolling on my phone. So I made myself a drink and went and sat on the bleachers near the office, um, near where the baseball um, cage is, what, I don't know what you call it. And I just sat there for about 40 minutes, just looking at the stars, hearing all the bugs. And just, it was just a, uh, I don't know what I was doing. It was just uh, just using that time to reflect how really how much I've missed this place, how much of a good time session five was, and how much I wish ses session six start, um, happened. And I don't know. I just just love sitting now, just looking at the all the fireflies flying around, the little rustles in the trees. You can hear the bugs the sound of the bugs flapping their wings and making their noises. I'll take you out there in a minute actually and show you. But um, yeah, it's been not much of a exciting day, hence why we've not done much and showed you much. But yeah, like I said, we had our dinner and then I sat on the beanbags on my phone, just scrolling internet, my Facebook and stuff. And before I know it, it was quarter to 11. I thought I've got to go out. So I sat on the bleachers whilst Jess was watching a film on her phone. And I sat there for literally 45 minutes. And it was just lovely. Um, once we'd done that, uh, Jess came out and met me and we sat there for another 10, 15 minutes. And then she's just got bedded down in the record on the beanbags. We have to be quiet tonight because there's another couple in there at the moment sleeping as well. So we're not the only two in the record tonight. So I've just asked Jess if I could borrow her phone just to come out here. Uh, again, we left the camera in the um, cabin. We didn't want to be lugging that camera around all the time with us because we're not doing anything worth showing you sort of thing. But we promised that we'd do little snippets to show you throughout our day. So we've just been using the phone for the last few days, but we should go back to camera soon, uh, our proper camera. So yeah, as I was saying, just was settling down for night in the beanbags. I've just asked, could I take the camera, oh, or phone, sorry, and sit in the dining hall and just end the vlog, really. So tomorrow is going to be a bit of an exciting day. So I'm not sure if Jessica or I have actually said this, but... The company or organisation that we are actually volunteering for is not Camp Greentop. The organisation is called the League for People with Disabilities. And every year 
they I think they either rent Camp Green Top for the camp. Uh, I'm not sure if they rent it or they pipe. I'm not I'm not sure of all the like nitty gritty bits, but the organisation that we work for is called the League for People with Disabilities. And every year we come here to uh, look after children and adults with disabilities at Camp Green Top. And in every December for one week they go to Camp Let's and we do another session but it's like a winter camp. So over the last few days, Jessica and I and every other staff member here have been uh, packing things up, putting stuff into storage. And I'd say about 85% of the stuff that we packed away stays here on camp. Um, it goes into the arts and crafts uh, department. Some of it stays in the office. Some of the stuff stays in the kitchen and so on. But 15% or 20% of it still has to go back to the league. Uh, that's short, not rather than the League for People with Disabilities, we just call it the League. So about, we've probably got about 20 bags of stuff that's got to go back to the League head office. <clears throat> now that's in Baltimore, about probably about an hour, hour and a half drive from here. So tomorrow morning, um, we're having breakfast. And then straight after breakfast, I'm not sure if it's all of us or some of us, are uh, going to the League to drop the stuff off. Now, if it's only a few of us, me and Jess are going to put a name down to go because we need to get off this mountain. We need some civilization. We can't sit on this mountain any longer not doing anything or anything constructive. Because obviously our jobs, they last about an hour and then it's just sitting throughout the day then, just waiting for our meals, uh, the jobs that we've got done uh, or the jobs that we've got to do. It's not like an all day thing. It's like an hour tops our jobs and then that's it. The rest of the day we can just chill. So we are looking forward to getting off the mountain if we can. Now, I'm not entirely sure if it's everyone or just a select few or what, but we are going to the league tomorrow to drop off the storage boxes that's got all bits and bobs in. I think it's arts and crafts stuff, office stuff and expensive stuff. I'm not entirely sure what. I think there's some camp merch that's going back to the league because I boxed that up. There's some stuffed animals that are going there, like teddy bears and stuff. There's a few arts and craft bits, office stuff and stuff like that. So it's all going back to the league. Um, so after breakfast, we'll be going there. Um, now, I'm not entirely sure, like I said, if it's all of us or some of us, but if it's all of us, brilliant. If it's only some of us, me and Jess are gonna put our name down because we need to get off this mountain. And then that's gonna be about an hour and a half drive. And then it's an hour and a half drive back. And then when we get back here, we should be back here just in time for lunch. And then after lunch, we are going to a baseball game. Now, this is meant to be a surprise from, obviously, uh, the league. It's meant to be a surprise for us for all our hard work, but it got out a surprise a few week, days ago, a few days ago, so we've known about it for a few days. Not entirely sure what baseball game we're going to see. I'm only doing this, I'm only saying this from past years. So in 2010, when I first came here, my first summer, during orientation, we went to the Frederick Cook, Frederick Keys baseball game. So I'm assuming that tomorrow we're going to a Frederick Keys baseball game, but it could be something completely different. But it should be a good night out. Anyway, I'm not a massive fan of baseball. I don't really know all the rules, but just getting out, having some food. I'm not sure, actually, I'm not entirely sure we're having dinner there. It could be have a dinner here at camp and then go to the match. It could be have lunch here, then go to the match and come back for dinner here. Or we could go and have dinner out. I don't entirely. I'm not entirely sure of all the, of all what's going on. Uh, but it's going to be a good night anyway. And then once we get back, uh, we'll just chill again for a few hours and in bed. Now tomorrow is the 9th of August. So if the campers were here, they'll be going home tomorrow morning. But obviously they're not here. So obviously we've just been sat around doing a few jobs and that. And it's been very quiet. Very. It's been. It's been nice chilling. I'm not going to lie. It's been nice. But I do wish the campers were here. That's what I came here for, you know, that's what me and Jess came here for, to look after the campers. And obviously we got COVID a few days ago, and obviously a few more people got COVID, and then obviously camp had to close. But anyway, that's the plan for tomorrow. Um, I was gonna end it now, but I just realized that I wanna take her outside so you can hear the noises, like the bugs, and that now you're not going to see anything it's complete black pitch black out there so i'll go out there and sit where i was sitting about an hour ago or whatever it was 
and I'll list, let you listen to the, the sounds that I can hear. Again, you're not gonna see anything, it's completely pitch black out there. Um, but I'll take you out there now, so you can hear. I insert, you know, like a minute clip or whatever, just so you can get a brief idea of what the sounds that I can hear. And then I'm gonna come back in, finish my tea, and then I'm gonna probably get settled and go to bed because we've got a busy day tomorrow. So I'm just gonna stop recording now walk out because you're not going to see anything anyway and then let you hear the noises that I can hear it's really really I don't know what word to use it's just soothing I think soothing is the right word peaceful I don't know it's just it's just a nice little sound to listen to so I'm going to take you out the front now and show you So as you can see, I'm back in the dining hall, just gonna finish off my brew. Um, I'm hoping the sound came out on the last clip because it's so, so, I don't know what word it is. It's just, it just, I can't get the word out. It's, although it's noisy, it's relaxing, it's comforting. I don't know, I can't explain it, but it's just, it's just a nice sound to listen to when you're sitting on the bleachers having a brew. It's just a nice relaxing sound. I'm hoping it came out though well on the last clip as i said it was pitch black out there so you're not actually going to see anything maybe a few lamps that are outside on the buildings but not much um, i've not looked at it back yet so i'm hoping it has come out well but that's about it for tonight um we are quite tired jess and i i think jess is asleep because when i was walking back i did pop in pop my head through the window as i was walking back um, off cam and i can't see her moving around in there so i think she's fallen asleep so I'm just gonna finish this tea and then probably clear up the mess on the tables. Cause as you can see, bit of rubbish on the table. So I'm gonna clear that probably, clear that up probably, turn the lights off and then probably settle down myself on uh, the bean bag. So on that note, cheers. Good night everyone. And we'll see you in the morning. <coughs> night. at all do you think about the things we used to do